uh, motivation of trying to win coach's last game. Exactly right. Urban will be excited about it. He'll be fired up. But, you know, I just, you know, I, I could see why there are players on this team that'd be disappointed. We are joined now by uh, Devon Hamilton, Pickerington Central's own. Devon, thanks uh, so much for joining us. And uh, Stan and I just right now uh, sitting here talking about the. I, I'm I'm interested in how you guys have reacted since the college football playoff rankings came out. I mean, there had to be the initial disappointment of being sixth and then being left out of the playoffs despite a Big Ten championship year and finishing 12-1. and one. Have you guys shaken that off? Uh, how did you react then, and is it uh, on to the Rose Bowl and we're going to be a motivated football team January 1st? Um, honestly, I don't think we were really – I mean, the initial shock, yeah, it got us, but at the same time, I mean – we can only control what we can control. And uh, we're excited to go to our bowl game and uh, go out there and try to win the game. Talk about, uh, uh, Devon, when you got the news, that uh, morning meeting that you guys had with uh, Urban Meyer, and he announced his retirement about a week ago. How did you react to that? And is there a sense of, you know, we can't, we have to send Coach Meyer out the right way. What what is the the reaction been since Coach Meyer uh, made that announcement? Um, honestly, I wasn't too shocked about it. I mean, he has been going through a lot this whole season, and uh, I'm just happy that he's able to get his health together, and be able to enjoy his retirement. Uh, we definitely have to send him off the right way. I feel like <laughs> he had, he had set it like a a huge legacy behind him, and you know, I mean, uh, we just gotta go out there and win for him. I want to ask you about uh, the defensive line. Uh, you're part of a group that is deep and talented and has been the the strength of the defense. Talk a little bit about Larry Johnson and uh, how he cultivates that room and the kind of defensive line coach that he is. Uh, first off, he's a great leader. I mean, there's nothing, nothing you really can ask for him that he's not going to give you. He's going to give you all no matter what. Uh, he also has us out there. He makes sure our technique is fine. I mean, we work at it night in train every day to make sure our technique is fine no make sure we know what our jobs are so that always helps when we're out there playing in the games we're talking with uh, Devon Hamilton Buckeye defensive tackle it's been for the uh, defense this year Devon there's been ups and there's been downs but it seems like you guys are playing your best football now um is there a an air of confidence as you scout Washington and you head into this Rose Bowl that uh this defense is going to play its best game going into this. I mean, that's always the goal. I mean, either way, we're going to play hard. Either way, we're going to fight through adversity. And we're going to try to get this, this win. Talk about uh, also we got the word today as you guys are doing your interviews that uh, Draymond Jones, who play, you play alongside him, uh, is going to play in the Rose Bowl, A, but B, he's also declaring for the NFL draft. Can you just comment on, like Stan and I were commenting, they came out with the All-American teams and – I don't know how this guy wasn't at least a third-team All-American with some of the statistics that he put up. He scored a couple of touchdowns. But Draymond Jones, what kind of year in your mind did he have? What's the strength uh, of that guy? And what kind of future do you think your uh, your teammate there has? Um, I think he had a great year. I mean, there's not really too much you can ask out of him. He was scoring. He was getting sacks. He getting tackles. I mean, what else can you ask for him as a defensive lineman? I mean, going into the draft, I feel like he's i mean, hes a very versatile guy. He can play both three-tech and, and if he really wanted them to. I mean, there's really nothing you can ask of him that he couldn't provide for a team. So, I want to ask you also, um, you're a Pickerington Central kid, and this is something Stan always brings up. What do you have to do to keep the uh, Pickerington guys uh, in Columbus? Uh, <laughs> you're one that chose Columbus. There have been a lot of them that have gone uh, – gone up north or different places it's quite a powerhouse not only at pickering central but football in uh in pickerington what uh sold you on ohio state and can you do some recruiting on some of the other guys <laughs> uh, i mean i'm not really in charge of all that i know i know yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah but uh, i mean my choice is kind of simple i mean i've been i was born and raised in ohio uh, really in columbus and uh you know the family support is always something that you need, I mean, just going to college in general. I mean, it just makes a lot of things easier. But also, like, just the coaching staff, Coach Larry Johnson, I mean, you can't really find too much better than that out of a coach that's going to teach you and try to make sure you're the best that you can possibly be. So that's really what sold me to come here 
which is really hasn't failed. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, and Coach Johnson, I know, is going to still be around. So Ryan Day now in charge of this program going forward after uh, January first. How much confidence? And you guys saw a little bit of it, got a snippet of it during training camp and those first three games. How much confidence is there about Ryan Day and the future of this Buckeye program? I'm very confident in him. I mean, he's going to be a very good co- head coach for us. I mean, he brings all the leadership qualities that Coach Meyer has presented in his own legacy. I mean. He's just a great coach so far. I mean, the first three games, I mean, you couldn't really ask too much more of him. Yeah. Great guy overall. Um, uh, before I let you go, I got to ask you about uh, the Michigan game. Um, you guys had come off of the week, and a lot of people are going, gosh, what's wrong with Ohio State, even though you won the game at Maryland, yeah. and then you come out against Michigan. What – flipped in that game for you guys as a team and actually uh, I would say carried on to the Big Ten championship game with the performance you guys had against Northwestern. What changed, uh, Devon? Uh, we really just focused on making sure we knew our jobs, really. I mean, as a defense, I mean, we play a gap-out defense and if somebody's not in their gap, I mean, that really can mess up a lot of things for us. I mean, really, we sat down for those last couple of weeks of practice for for the season, really sat down Made sure everybody knew their jobs. Made sure everybody was focused on their jobs with that, and then make sure we finish with tackling and whatnot. For people that don't understand, how much is as Coach Meyer and I'm sure Coach Day is going to continue that emphasize the Michigan game, the Michigan rivalry. I mean, Coach Meyer says it's not a one week thing; it's a 365 day a year. Can you uh, a, a year thing? Can you speak to that? How much is beating that team up north emphasized with you guys during the course of the year? Uh, during the course of the year, so uh, starting off in the off season in the winter, that's basically every Thursday, or really every after every workout, we do a team up north period where it's uh, push-ups, sit-ups, uh, curls, this and the other for how many days we have until we play them. Really, well, when we say beat them. <laughs> 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 we literally go through that the whole off season. Then we in spring ball we have team up north periods throughout the practice, like for like I want to say close to thirty minutes mm. of practice is going over it, and then obviously during the season that's obviously emphasized at that point too. So yeah, <laughs> well it uh, it certainly showed, and it was it was no mirage to use a term of a. Uh... A defensive lineman from uh, from up north. You guys got it done and got it done in the Big Ten title game. Congratulations on the year, Devon, and we look forward to watching you guys in the Rose Bowl and appreciate you taking a few minutes for us. Appreciate it.